Hello everyone and welcome back to another video from Homemaker. In our today's video we are going to talk about Peperomia napolinites, which is another member from the Peperaceae family. And this plant is known for its beautiful silvery foliage as you can see in here. You can see the beautiful silvery tinge on the leaves of these plants which makes it look so cute, stylish and because they don't grow very um, big so you can fit them anywhere in your house. These plants are basically native to the Amazon basin in South America and um, they are quite slow growing plants. Um, these plants do produce some flowers during the growing season, but the flowers are just insi insignificant. Now, um, let's talk about the care of Peperomia napolinites. Um, these plants are pretty easy to take care of. Regarding the lighting conditions, so these plants prefer to be in um, bright indirect light. So you can place them in your south or west or east facing window but just make sure that you provide them with the filtered light and not the direct sunlight because if you put them in direct sunlight they, the leaves will either um, get burnt or they will uh, get faded so they lose uh, their beautiful variegation on them. I'll show you one of the leaves in here which I kind of forgot to remove it from my windowsill and it uh, got faded I'm not sure if it's sunburn or but half of the leaf you can see the difference it got faded in the Sun and then I removed it from there so just make sure to provide these plants with the indirect um, sunlight and they'll do great the best part about these plants is that they do well in fluorescent lighting as well which makes these plants excellent house plants. So you don't have to worry them to provide them with special lighting conditions because just the normal fluorescent light is also just enough for them. Um, moving on to the temperature conditions. So these plants grow best in temperatures between 18 to 24 degrees Celsius, but make sure you keep them away from cold drafts because um, these plants don't like very cold temperatures, especially below 10 degrees Celsius. So um, during winter seasons, if the temperature drops a lot in your area, make them to um, make sure that you provide them with a warm spot. Um, to keep them alive okay next comes the humidity um, so these plants um, love humidity because they belong to Amazon and you can place them on the on top of the pebble tray to provide them with moisture um, during the dry period like during summers if the air um, in your area is too dry you can put them on the pebble tray or just missed the leaves of these plants that should be enough but in winters um, they are kind of very carefree like you don't have to care for them a lot during winters a little bit of watering no misting no moisture nothing is needed for them and they will survive with just uh, enough amount of indirect sunlight that you provide them Regarding the watering conditions, water these plants once a week uh, but make sure to check your soil first before watering because over watering these plants you will definitely kill them. Um, so how you can do is just check the soil, uh, put your finger up to um, one knuckle this much into the soil and then if the soil sticks to your finger um, then um, that means the soil is moist and you don't need to water them but if it does not stick and the soil feels dry please go ahead and water your plant um, these plants uh, do store a little bit water in the leaves because the leaves of these plants are quite thick if you touch them they are quite thick leaves and it is believed that they store some water in them so they are not going to die um, if you do not water them for a little while, but definitely if you water them, you'll kill them. So just um, keep that in mind. If the leaves are turning yellow or they are wilting, then that's a sign of overwatering. So just uh, keep that in mind. Um, regarding fertilization, use a diluted liquid fertilizer. Um, 
once a month during the growing season which is the summer and the spring season you don't need to fertilize them during winter and autumn uh, because they are not growing at that time and if you fertilize them at that time um, it will be too overwhelming for the for the plant and they might um, the leaves might start falling over or your plant might even die so no need to fertilize them during winter and autumn just in the spring um, and summer uh, with a weak uh, fertilizer just once a month not more than that because over fertilizing also will um, kill your plant next is the soil conditions so these plants prefer a well drained soil mix so i what i have used is for my plants i always use the peat moss and perlite as you can see the white thing in there that's perlite and peat moss the mixture of both of them in the ratio of two is to one if you want you can add some compost or worm castings to provide nutrition to your plant um, so a peaty soil is the best soil for these plants okay next comes the grooming and maintenance so consider repotting um, your peperomia at, uh, every three to four years to change the soil as these uh, plants are slow growers and they've got shallow root systems so if you repot them or change the soil very often then you will definitely affect um, the growth of the plant because the roots will again take time to adjust themselves to the new soil condition and it will affect the growth um, so and because they're very slow growers they don't need um, the changing of soil again and again so just once in every three to four years you can top the soil with um, compost or worm castings or fertilize them but uh, definitely not repotting them very frequently um, and regarding maintenance um, these plants they look good when they are bushy uh, but when they grow taller they tend to become leggy so what you can do is to maintain that bushier look you can pinch the top of your plant to initiate side growth and this will maintain the bushier look of your plant now we'll talk about the pest and the diseases that this plant can have so these plants are quite resistant to pests and disease infestation um, but still I would uh, recommend to keep an eye on your plant because uh, if you see any mealybugs or aphids or flies in your plant um, you can just use uh, homemade insecticide or uh, neem oil spray uh, which is perfect insecticide for the plants and also biodegradable and organic so just keep an eye but otherwise these plants uh, don't need much care they don't they're quite resistant to pests and a uh, few diseases that you might see um, if you see like uh, leaf loss so uh, generally when the plant grows bigger the lower leaves tend to fall which is quite uh, common uh, in these plants but if you see that a lot of leaves are wilting the lot of leaves are falling over then that could be a sign of overwatering or over fertilizing or a sudden temperature drop so you need to keep those things in mind um, that you don't overwater or you don't over fertilize your plant and you maintain the correct temperature and correct lighting conditions and now last but not the least it's propagation so these plants are very very easy to propagate I have made a whole video on propagation but I have propagated Peperomia caparata roso um, please go back and check my video on propagating uh, Peperomia caparata roso but basically all Peperomias they can be propagated the same way so either you can take the stem cutting um, and place them in water or you can propagate them through leaf what I have found easier is that leaf propagation is quite easy and it has worked for me quite well um, you can go with soil propagation um, directly or you can go with water propagation with water propagation I have seen the results are quite better 
because you can see what's happening um, you can see the growth of the root formation uh, but with soil propagation you just need to put uh, your cutting into the soil and just wait for things to happen and if you miss uh, watering or you overwater, then your um, propagation will be a complete fail but if you um, go with the water propagation then um, the, the plant is receiving water and they propagate quite well. So here uh, I have done the water propagation through leaves. So I have taken the leaf cutting. Um, you can see my other video as well. I'll leave the link below in the description box. Um, but I have got few leaves here to show you. So this one is just the stem leaf cutting and you can see the roots and the tiny little uh, peperomia leaves coming from the bottom. So this is one and um, this one is just the new one that I've placed just today. So it hasn't developed anything yet but this one you can see here the new leaf that is coming out there from the middle there you can see that and it has also got the roots at the bottom of the leaf and the roots at the back so they're pretty easy to propagate so I have cut this leaf into half and just immerse it in water and in 15 days you will see the roots and the tiny little stems coming out here this is another one this is much older than the previous two and here you can see it has got a lot of growth at the back Wow isn't that amazing So after the roots and these little leaves have developed, you can place them in the soil and the soil you can use the same soil as I mentioned earlier, the PT soil with some perlite in it. What keep the soil moist till you see the plants coming out. So I have done the same. So this was a cutting that I took before and when the roots were developed, I placed, them, I placed it into the soil and now you can see so many little baby leaves that have developed and the plant has grown quite bigger and same with this one so I have done the same with this and you can see the little leaves coming out So friends, it's quite easy to propagate these plants and they are very beautiful. They need very less caring and they look amazing indoors. You can keep them under your patio, you can keep them on your office, desktop, kitchen top and they look beautiful. Please check out my other videos on Peperomia caparada roso, Peperomia rana verde, Peperomia albovitata picolobanda, Peperomia obtusifolia and propagation. I will leave all the links in the description box for you to go through. But for this one, that was it. I'll see you next time with another exciting video. Till then, stay safe, keep gardening, see you next time, bye bye.